Drier conditions in the panhandle could lead to new wildfires there. Yeah, that warning comes as first responders finally got the largest wildfire in Texas history under control. Fox 4's Dan Godwin joins us live with the latest. And Dan, these warm temperatures we're having certainly not helping in this firefight. That's right, Tana. The fire danger is increasing in West Texas. Of course, it's a region that's been devastated by wildfires over the past two weeks. The Texas A&M Forest Service says a drying trend is beginning in the western part of the state. That extends into the panhandle. There are still three wildfires burning in that part of the state. The largest is the Smokehouse Creek Fire in Hutchinson County. It broke out February. 26 then has burned just over a million acres making it the biggest wildfire in the state's history it's listed as 87 percent contained the Forest Service says it is monitoring conditions amidst this drying trend and has positioned heavy equipment and aircraft across areas of concern that'll allow for a quicker response to any new fires or if the existing blazes should suddenly jump containment lines or otherwise flare up. The city of Borger in Hutchinson County has put out a new alert to residents telling them they still have to be ready to evacuate with little or no advance notice. The recent panhandle fires have killed two people and have destroyed nearly 500 structures and the favorable fire weather means people in the region still need to remain vigilant. Reporting live, Dan Godwin on Good Day.